Hello everybody, I am the Helpful Witch and today I want to discuss day and night cycles in Hogwarts Legacy. As always, please subscribe below if you want to hear more theories coming from me and also let me know your thoughts of what you think about these theories. Now let's get into the video. They confirm day night cycles in an actually unusual way. We had seen before in the gameplay reveal trailer, we had seen a shot of Hogwarts and day night cycle passing, however, they hadn't said whether there was gonna be a specific day night cycle or whether it was gonna be quest related. But in the blog post for the Felix Felicis potion release in PS5, they actually said the Felix Felicis will act as a in-game luck charm for one in-game day and basically it will allow us to see gear chests for again one in-game day. Now this sentence is loaded with actual information because one of the thing is this day-night cycle. So they have confirmed that there is going to be a day-night cycle but they haven't confirmed how it's going to work, how long it's going to be and what other things that we can expect from this day-night cycle. It's actually interesting to speculate because this is a school year on school days so it's a bit more nuanced than just a normal RPG or game in general where you can just spend your days doing whatever you want because we are actually a student so we have something that we have to do every day which is probably gonna be take lessons and study. Now the first thing that we can speculate is on how long one in-game day is going to be like. We have different games doing different things. I think a lot of times around 20 minutes seems to be an in-game day. This could be taken from games like Breath of the Wild or even Stardew Valley but actually there is other games like like Animal Crossing, New Horizon for example, but all the Animal Crossings that are based on actual real life days. So, and I don't know, 3pm is 3pm in game, as long as you're setting your clock to the real time, but basically one minute is actually gonna be one minute in real life. Now I doubt very much that Hogwarts Legacy is gonna have this system, I think there is gonna be a set amount of time, I think again 20 minutes seems to work well, maybe it's gonna be just a little longer because I think we're gonna have quite a lot to do, especially during the day, I don't know if the night needs to be as much but I think definitely during the day if we have to go to school as well we're gonna want to be doing something that we like as well as something that we have to. I say this because another big place of speculation is what are we gonna have to do each day. When we're talking about school years we're talking about also weeks so technically you will have five days a week where you'll be in school normally and then two days where it will be a weekend so is it gonna be like that? Are we gonna have a specific week as well? I don't think we're gonna have a specific week I think it's gonna be every day is gonna be the same but I do wonder whether we're gonna have some lessons or some amount of lessons that we have to take on each day I think also it's going to be interesting to think about what the night is going to be like. We have seen a couple of clips of Hogwarts in the night, but we don't necessarily know how much we're going to be able to free roam or whether we can just go to sleep and skip the night if there is nothing that we really care of doing. I think one thing about the sneaking off in the night, I think with the flu powder and flu flames being in our common room, I think that will actually be a nice way to escape outside of Hogwarts without any of the teacher knowing. We just use the flu powder network in the common room and we just lit up a network somewhere outside of the grounds of Hogwarts and we can just go, let's say, to Hogsmeade whenever we want at night without having to pass through all the school security, without having to go through the hassle of make sure that no teacher sees us, we can just use the flu powder network, go there and fast travel to another place. I think this is going to be one of the ways that we can keep exploring the castle and around the castle at night, however it still stands that it's an interesting you know, game mechanic how the day night cycle is going to work even within that because do we then have to go to our dormitory or to our common room for a specific time? Will we have a specific time that we have to tend for example to the great hall? to have our meal. I doubt that this would be something that we do every single day. It would get very boring if we have a cutscene or if we have to report to the Great Hall every day. I think this is going to be a bit too much, although it's going to be fun the first time we do it and I definitely think it's going to be room to do it at the beginning of the game or maybe even once every so often, every time that there is an important thing that the Handmaster needs to say, for example, during dinner and have a cutscene on there. I think definitely it's going to be cool to be in the Great Hall and see all the students there, but I don't think we're going to have to do it every single night. 
but to feel like the castle is truly alive I definitely would enjoy to see all of our students and friends go through you know the halls of Hogwarts and walking towards their respective common rooms around night time one so that it will help us signify that we're trying to not be caught in this time and that we need to be careful because everybody's supposed to be in bed it would be a nice easy way to signal to the player that actually people are going back into their common rooms and therefore you should be careful now and also it would be a nice way to feel like the castle is truly alive and these NPCs are not just NPCs but they're actual students in Hogwarts Legacy that are going through day after day and they just want to turn in for the night and study for the next assessment and this is just gonna make it a bit more real. Now another interesting thing is to think about what is gonna happen during the day and how even is the, gonna, is the day gonna start. I think there's gonna be the option of us to sleep in our actual dormitory. I think we've seen a little bit the guards around the different dormitories as well so I think there's gonna be some interesting little nods to the books where the female dormitory is gonna actually be closed off by guards or by some sort of magic that each male player won't be able to access but I think it's gonna be fun to go to our dormitory and use actually our bed to skip time so for example let's say we don't have anything to do in a night or we really want to skip to the day so that we can go to our next potion class then we can just go in our dormitory sleep in our bed and say we want to sleep through the night and wake up in the day like we see in the trailer but I think, you know, if we're out and about, another way that they can show us is again with NPCs. We can start seeing NPCs again, maybe NPCs opening up shops and letting us know implicitly that the day is starting. And then if we want to, if we're outside of Hogwarts and we want to come back again, we can just use the fast travel network and we can just travel to, you know, the common room or a class and just go directly from there. Now, I don't know whether there is going to be a set amount of classes that we have to take each day. I don't think there is going to be necessarily, although maybe we will have at least one, but I think there is going to be pros and cons between them, as in a lot of people are going to want the realism or actually going to school and seeing the classes, and a lot of other people are just going to want to go outside and kill all the bad guys or become one of the bad guys. So I don't know whether they're going to actually make it mandatory, but I think at the beginning we will probably have to do it to progress or to even unlock the free roam, but I think we're not going to have a set specific number of classes that we have to take each day or each month or each season or whatever I think there is gonna be a specific time where we can go to class so rather than being able to do only three classes or at least three classes I think we're gonna have a specific window of time where we can go and learn classes so if we want to really progress our portion skills I think we're only gonna be able to do it during a certain specific time we can't just trigger it in the middle of the night just because we feel like it now I also wonder whether we're gonna have exams because again if we don't want to go to school can we just not do it and then not have consequences I definitely think we're gonna be incentivized to trigger school and to go to school and this is because the more school we take I think the more spells we unlock we're probably gonna be able to learn also experience points or something like that during our classes so that we can progress and learn new things I also think maybe sometimes we'll find spells around the world Word in maybe one of those pages that we've seen collecting during the trailers and then we'll be able to report back to the different teachers so maybe charms or defense against dark arts or even potion and herbology to say hey I found this can you tell me more and then actually use that to learn and on that way basically we unlock and then we learn that spell. I definitely think there is room for them to make us have to adhere to a specific number of classes that we have to take each day. I definitely think if they wanted, they could. I don't know whether they will, just because they have really, really shown us how much side stuff, not just side quests, but how much things and fillers there is around the world, which makes the world feel more alive and more full. And I think that then they wouldn't do all of the side quests and allow us to learn so many side spells like the unforgivable courses for example but I doubt that then they will force us into taking classes so I think definitely the classes are gonna be you're gonna choose how much you want to do and you're gonna choose which ones you want to do you can do all of them you can not do all of them I don't know whether for example time will pass or time will stop during classes I have a feeling actually they could make it so that it stops if you have a specific mini games that you have to do each time I think it would definitely be interesting to see also what they do with classes 
chances because there is a chance for them to actually keep repeating the same animation over and over again if they wanted for them for example you coming into the class and then the charm teacher coming down the stairs and telling you what you're gonna cover and again thinking back about the Hogwarts mystery game for mobile they have done that where basically each mini game is basically a class that you go to and you have this repetitive cutscene at the beginning where you just hear the teacher saying blah 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 with this spell so it's always the same thing and then it's just a different spell that you learn but you don't have to do anything different every time you just need to repeat it and you have to do it to progress the story this is very very boring so i doubt they will do it for a game as big as this but i'm definitely interested to see how many different mini games they will have or things that feel like mini games to actually progress the class i doubt that you'll just be there sitting and listening to the professor speak for three minutes and then you're done i think you're gonna have some interactivity we've seen it a little bit with potion class but we haven't seen that much as we've seen classes again for charms where you have the mini game and you're using actual or accio or whatever you want to say to bring some of the balls like closer to you i think there's gonna be a lot of different mini games like that uh, but i wonder whether you know you're gonna learn one of the spells and then you're not gonna be able to do that class anymore whether you can go back and do that class again there's gonna be some people that just enjoy a specific mini game maybe and they want to play it over and over again so i think again there is so much different things that we can speak about this game which is incredible but i am really really curious about how our class is gonna work during the day and how is the day night cycle gonna be fitting in with all these classes so i've kind of shared my thoughts but now i want to know yours so please let me know in the comments below what you think how do you think the day night cycle is gonna work do you think we're gonna have a set of classes that we have to attend how is there gonna be the night gonna happen do you think that we always have to go back to our dormitory and then try to sneak out or do you think if we're already out and about do you think that we can just try and not get caught what do you think is gonna happen is there gonna be a cutscene to let us know that it's the morning or the evening i'm gonna see just the sunrise and assume that it's a new day i want to know your thoughts below please please let me know i read an answer to all of your comments because i enjoy so much speaking in the comments so please let me know your thoughts and let me know also what you want to see me cover next and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe it will mean the world to me thank you so much for reaching the end of this video and i'll see you next time bye